All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? What up, Memphis, Tennessee? Key was happening? My hometown of Memphis, Tennessee, landed a big time recruit today. The number one player in the class of 2019 has made his decision to play college basketball at the University of Memphis. You want to know that why this is a big deal? The University of Memphis took this player from a school and a coach that they know very well. Coach Calipari, the former coach of the Memphis Tigers, it was down to his Kentucky Wildcats and the University of Memphis and James Wiseman, he picked Memphis. Now for the record, James Wiseman is currently playing high school ball in Memphis. He's closely connected to Penny Hardaway's AAU team, Penny Hardaway's former team that he was coaching at in East. So I will say Penny had the upper advantage, but I'm gonna be honest with you, just being from Memphis, I was in Memphis when Coach Calipari left the Memphis Tigers one day. All right, they were pulling up at his home and everything. I was in Memphis when he went to, it took the job at Kentucky and I just know how heartbroken the city was. And you know what it is? It's when you, it's when you lose your girlfriend or women when you lose your man and you know they've moved on to a better situation. When you know you lost your girl, when you know you lost your man, and you know they're going to a more stable position, with, so they're going to someone who got a better job, who look better than you, hit the gym five, six times a week, you know you only hit it like once or twice. That's, what, that's how it felt to the University of Memphis. When they lost Coach Calipari, they couldn't get mad. Kentucky had more resources, more money, they had more everything. It was Calipari's dream job, and they knew he was going to take it. And, and being from Memphis, we just knew we had nothing else to offer this guy. We pretty much gave him a raise every year. And, and honestly, God, truth, there was nothing else we had. If we couldn't keep him on straight merit alone and just uh, loyalty to the city, there was nothing else we could do. And this is, I guess, a tad bit of get back. I think the ultimate get back for Memphis would be to beat Kentucky in the tournament one year. Not have to be in a championship game, but just one year if the two teams face off. I think that'll be their ultimate get back. We'll see if that happens next year. But this is a beginning. This is a this is a slow little. This is a, a this is a dub for Memphis and an L to Kentucky. Coach Calipari was in Memphis a lot. As a matter of fact, when you know, for those from Memphis watching this video, when when Coach Calipari goes into Memphis, Tennessee, he goes and eats at Ching's Hot Wings. Right, that's his favorite wing restaurant in the country. He's been documented of saying this. So. The reason why I know he's been in Memphis a lot is because every time he's in the city, Ching's Hot Wings, they post a picture of him being there. So he's been in Memphis a lot trying to garnish this number one recruit. I'm going to be honest with you, Kentucky's been losing a couple of these guys over the last few years. Now you got a school like Duke that's willing to take the one and done players now. They got the top three guys. They got Cam Reddish, RJ Barrett, and obviously Zion Williamson a couple years ago. Those three guys would have been Kentucky recruits. But since Coach K has been willing to acclimate to this new one and done lifestyle, you got guys like Coach Calipari in trouble of losing some of these top guys. Now he's got to deal with Penny Hardaway in Memphis. Honestly, Coach Calipari had, for the last two years had pretty much been able to come in Tennessee and grab whatever he wants. He knew the area well when he was recruiting when he was in Memphis. So pretty much it was an easy get for him. Whenever he wanted to come in town, get one of our guys, he got him easily. But now it's tough with Penny around. See, Penny's got something that most of these coaches can't uh, provide. Penny Hardaway's got clout. At one point in time, Penny Hardaway was going at Michael Jordan, straight up and down in the NBA. Penny Hardaway has one of the top five Nike selling shoes. Penny Hardaway's been there, done that. He's been a winner. He's played with Shaq. He's been one of the most known players in the NBA. That's something that Coach Calipari can offer to a guy like James Wiseman who's obviously heading to the NBA after one season. He's one and done. Congratulations to the University of Memphis. They got a big time stellar recruit. James Wiseman will be walking in that white and blue for the Memphis Tigers next year. Man, this is a big move. Y'all see Mike Miller in this shot as well. He's an assistant coach on that staff. For those who don't know, Penny's got to win with this kid. I'm gonna do more college basketball videos soon. Penny's got to win with this kid. You know, it's just simple as that. Penny's, and you know, I don't think that the Memphis Tigers need a championship next year, but because so many eyes will be on the number one player in the country, Penny has to at least make it to a, I believe, at least the round of 32. You know, I think that's 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 where it needs to be. They got to at least win the conference 
and get to the round of 32. They're going to have not only James Wiseman, but uh, the, the Memphis Tigers were able to take one of Kentucky's recruits, DJ Jeffries, who decommitted from Kentucky, and he wanted to play with his friend James Wiseman. So, I mean, it's time. You know, James Wiseman, a top 20 recruit as well. We'll see what the Tigers can put together next year. I believe they're not done with this class. They're probably going to get another two names. And we'll see how they end up rounding up this roster. It's time to get to work, Penny. This is what you wanted. Congrats to you and James Wiseman. And um, we'll see what the Tigers are about next season. I'm super excited. Um, I did go to Tennessee, though. So I will say this. We're going to let y'all have the, the next five years uh, U of M starting next year. I, the Tennessee Volunteers, we're a top five school in the country right now. We're actually ranked number five. We play you guys on December 15th. So for the time being, we're going to kick y'all ass this year. We're going to bust y'all ass this year. But then next year, y'all will have the best and better roster. We got a senior team. We're going out to a championship this year. Next year, we'll allow y'all to have y'all moment with James Wiseman and DJ Jeffries and everybody else. We'll give y'all that next year, but let us have our year this year. Go ball. Thank y'all so much for the time. Love to put it on. Take it for granted. Salute. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the triple B's, you can't do nothing but win.